Hey, what's up, everybody? Rich from Streak, your Hempstead, New York. Today, today we're going to review the Bread 11s. Um, this shoe, this is it boxes 220, color is um, black, true red, white. This is a 9.5, it's the only size I got in. I usually like to use a 7.5 in my reviews. Um, but I want to get the review out, so I, the size came in, we're going to review it. As you can see, they put it in the OG box um, for the shoe. The shoe comes out 12 14 this year, so in a couple of three weeks already. Um, I, I, listen, it's, it's cool to use the original box. I do like when that, you know, I said, I mean, I mentioned it last year when they didn't use it, but I do like that all that packaging that was years ago, you know, with the plastics and, you know, how they had, you know, the shoe put in there. It was almost like opening up a Christmas present, although I know what's in there, but it's still nice. It's like that ornament on the Christmas tree that you, you know, you go, you put it up every year, but it's special. It's in that box. I always looked at the Jordan 11 that way, but now it's, it's but it's cool. It's still cool that it's in the original box, but it's still a little bit, you know, um, you know, I would like to see that box come back for us, but okay, that, that's my little old man piece. Anyway, here it is. Uh, they, did, they did put a card in here with, you know, with the writing Air Jordan 11. Uh, the Air Jordan uh, 11 is one of the most iconic uh, silhouettes in the history of sneakers. This season, Jordan brand celebrates this model by um, delivering detailed craftsmanship, honoring MJ's first Triple Crown run. You got the uh, league MVP, All-Star MVP, Finals MVP. Uh, this instant classic will leave you saying it's got to be the shoes. It's a little hard for me reading without my glasses, but that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so they got this the black paper in here. Yeah, these are, I mean, no matter what box these things are in, they still look gorgeous, that's for sure. I mean, these are beauties for sure. Um, yeah, I still like that packaging, but it's okay. We still we still love our, our Brett 11s. Um, let me put this back in. Okay, like I said, this is a nine and a half. Like I said, I usually use that smaller size, but these are going to work. Okay, um, shoe originally comes out in 95, 96, Tinker Hatfield shoe. Uh, it was steamed after, it was a little bit more, uh, I know he had seen a lawnmower, but he, he ended up doing it after a car. That's why there's that lawnmower car theme that bounces around the internet. Um, it's kind of a little bit of both, but this is supposed to be, the patent leather is supposed to be like the metal. This Cordura stuff is like the, the rag top, the drop top. So that's where that comes in. Um, you got your cord laces here. It does have Zoom Air technology. Uh, the patent leather was also for a good function. I mean, it's known as the tuxedo shoe, the shoe. But it was also, it's a very functional shoe for its time period. I had a lot into it. Um, like I said, the patent leather would help, held the foot tight. I had the Zoom Air technology. Uh, all this stuff here was um, very strong but lightweight, you know, for this, this Cordura. So there's a lot of technology in the 11. It wasn't just that it was a, probably one of the best looking Jordans that was made. But carbon fiber paint, carbon, carbon fiber plate on the bottom. Uh, this year's, it's a little bit different. I know there's, you know, it's one that's been out uh, 95, 96, uh, 2001, uh, 2012. Uh, what am I missing one? 2001, 2012, now 2019. I think that's all the years. I think this is like the fifth time. Let's see, 96, 2001, 2000, oh, 2008, 2012, and 2019. That's the fifth time. Okay, so they've been out five times. A couple little difference here and there. Like I said, this is different this on this year because it's a little bit more white than gray in, inside that carbon fiber plate right there. And this is which I like a lot better. Um, they've raised that patent leather back to the original original height. I mean, it would look good when it was lower, but when they when they brought it back and I saw the difference again, I love I love the extra patent leather. So I definitely think this is um, the right way. Um, yeah, a little different color here. I don't think that makes much, much of a difference, but um, yeah, this, this it's a real sweet shoe. You got that little red Jumpman there, 23 right there. Uh, it's got the Jumpman Jordan right here and the Greek style writing right there on the tongue. Yeah, the cord. This is all looks really nice. It looks like it's even more detailed, but no, I guess it's the same. Yeah, that's the same. Um, yeah, these are su super super nice. I know I I love getting these Jordans Jordan 11 ins for Christmas time. Um, but yeah, these are really, really nice. And as far as the hats go, well, this is an easy one for sure. Um, there's a lot of hats um, that go with it. Um, so I think, well, I was going to put my Yankee hat, but I love that Yankee hat there with it because it's got the white back there like that. Then we've got a perfect um, um, Jordan hat right there. Bulls hat, got the white in it. And this is just my Long Island hat and another Bulls hat. There's so many hats, you could, you could go crazy with this shoe. Um, but it's really, really cool. Yeah, so we get uh, our fifth time for our bread 11s. A um, little bit different from a couple other models. Like I said, higher uh, higher patent leather on this one. I guess, uh, well, let me see. I think that, well, the last one didn't. Maybe the last one before that didn't. Maybe the first two did. I'm not for sure. I know, the, of course, the first one did, but maybe the second one had the high patent leather, too. 
Um, then you got a little different color on the carbon fiber plate, but otherwise these are these are identical. The craftsmanship is, is perfect, and the shoes look unbelievable. So I yeah, hope you get a pair. Um, let me show you. I got one nice suit in, a really nice suit. With this, let me see. So let me bring, I'll bring one shoe over. Um, it's a Polar Tech suit, um, 150 for the top, and I think the bottoms are 190 dollars. Uh, the 90, um, but it's like outdoor wear for the winter time. But this is a really nice top. They did a really good job on this. Uh, it's got a little Jumpman on there, which is cool. Got Polar Tech. I mean, I think that's a really nice suit. Of course, you can wear anything with it. You go that way. And that's probably like uh, this one better. I like the red on top, but I think I like it like that better. Or with my Yankee hat. <laughs> I bring the Yankees back. Um, yeah, so it's a really nice setup here uh, for the Jordan 11. Um, yeah, they did a good job on this little clothing package here. I'm sure there's other clothing stuff that came out with them, but this is what we got in. We, we liked it. So, um, yeah, so this is our Jordan 11s. Um, just a couple of shoes that came in. These are winterized 270s. These are a little bit more pricey because they're made for the winter. These are 170, black and green. And you got a gray with a little hot pink, um, infrared, I mean. That's a pretty cool looking shoe. This is an Air Max 95, but it's a winter Air Max 95. These are 175, so these are you know just a little bit more beefier and more rugged for the uh, winter time. So if you, you, lo you like the 97s, this is a cool look, 170, uh, 175. Vapor Max Plus, nice colorway. 190, you got a flying, this is just came in too. Uh, this, is, this is a cool colorway too. There's a nice, nice couple of suits that match that with some tech suits. So just a little, little stuff that came in. Um, yeah, so like I said, this the nice step. I'm going to bring this shoe back over here. The hats. Uh, the next, uh, yeah, that next shoe is going to be nice. I thought I was going to get it done before the Jordan 4 Winterized. That's a really nice looking shoe, too. Uh, that looks sweet, so I can't wait to get that in. I'm going to put that review up next. But, um, yes, yeah, so this is your last look at the Jordan 11s. Come out December 14th, 220, Street Gear out.